Can you all hear me back? Back there? All good? Carol? Michael, hold on a second. Let me get a spoon. What's that? Hello. For y'all who don't know me, I'm Adam's little brother. Hey. Oh, man. In, in all honesty, I figure there's no better time than now with all of our new family and our close family together in one place for me to give my best man speech. That's a tough one to follow up, really. I'm, if I cry, then y'all can all pick on me later, I promise. <laughs> you know, in a lot of families, there's that, uh, there's that one guy or one girl who, good grades, good speeches, good choices. <laughs> they always make the good choices, always get good grades. And then there was me. <laughs> and as you can tell, I've been responsible for gray hair for a really long time. <laughs> and if it wasn't for somebody like my brother to help level things out a little bit, I, uh, I don't know what would happen to my parents. <laughs> you know, as I, as I sat down to uh, put some words together for this weekend, there's one uh, theme I couldn't get out of my hand my head and that was where I'd be without my brother and that's not uh, him picking on me because he did enough of that Easton. <laughs> you know I we were in high school for a while there we weren't that close to be honest we weren't that close but we, we both part, started playing uh, high school football and uh, I got called up, and I was scared to death. I really was. I was scared to death. I thought everybody was going to pick on me, beat up on me. But really, nobody did. Adam made sure nobody touched me. But the only person that did pick on me was Adam. <laughs> but I understood it because he had about 15 years' worth of frustration to get rid of. And then we went to college. Now, I'll tell you something. Anybody who's had a chance to talk to Adam knows he's a smart guy. I mean, he is smart. But he did not know that jean shorts are not in style. <laughs> and, and I mean that. I'll tell you how cool my brother is. He got to college, and the first day of rush, he wore jean shorts the whole day. And hey, he still had his choice of fraternities. And if that is not the coolest person you've ever met in your life, <laughs> hey, I give him a hard time, but I had it easy. I really mm -hmm. did. I got to college. I had Adam tell me where to be, how to act, where, you know, which classes to take, which teachers to take. But, you know, really, if classes were as easy as the fraternity life, you know, I, I maybe have been a doctor or something. <laughs> But, no, we move on, you know. I give Adam a hard time all the time, but, Adam, I really want to thank you. Not only for being such a best fr good friend. Not that. The best. Honestly, ought. <laughs> <laughs> Coming in hot. Can I apologize to the date? Yeah, plus, plus one. <laughs> Don't leave him out of this, seriously. Ott's really sensitive about everything. Sorry. Um, it's true. No, really, Adam has been really everything my entire life. I, I have not made it through life, switching schools and everything, but not only such a good friend and a, such a great brother, but the role model you have been the last 26 years. And I mean that, I really do. I strive, and I mean this, on a daily basis to be half as good a person as you are. You have life figured out. You really do, and I mean that. You have life figured out. You really do. Constantly making good decisions, and once again, making such an unbelievable decision now. And I mean that. Now. <laughs> For y'all don't know me, I'm a screw up. <laughs> Ask my dad. I can hear you. <laughs> Oh, man.
<laughs> Dad, you're supposed to deny that. <laughs> he nods his head. <laughs> you're, supposed to, you're supposed to act like it don't work for you. <laughs> but truly, Adam, you really have been such a role model the last 26 years. And I, I, and I mean that. I really do strive to be like you. You have life figured out. And the uh, world's easy for you. And I mean that. You got it all figured out. And if I can fit in that world, which I usually do. <laughs> but once again, you're making an unbelievable decision. Kristen, I know from the moment Adam first saw that toothpaste all over your face, <laughs> he loved you. <laughs> and I mean that. I do. <laughs> but it's not just your glaring beauty. I really mean that. It's not just your glaring beauty that is what's beautiful about you, but your heart is truly as big as the world. I really mean that. Because every time I come over, I have a place to sleep and I'm tucked in. <laughs> I mean, there is a couch set out to the side with comforters set out. <clears throat> with my name written all over, but seriously, oh. you have me you have me written into the plan always. And I hey, not saying that I don't need it because as Adam knows, I'm more high high maintenance than any girl in here. I guarantee. <laughs> <laughs> but truly, as as anybody can tell, your your heart is as big as the world. And after meeting your sister and your friends and all of your family, I know Adam's in good hands. I really do. I know Amen. Adam's in good Amen. hands. Amen. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Dad, I'm trying to speak here. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, I know Adam's in good hands. And I really cherish every moment we've spent together. And I and I cherish a long time. I mean, I'm going to be there for a long time. <laughs> I mean, I really am. I'm going to be there for a long time. So your friends, all your friends are going to be ready. I will seriously be there. <laughs> no, but I, I really do cherish every moment we spent together. I really do cherish every moment we spent together. And a, a long list of memories to be made. And I think every guy in here will agree. <clears throat> Guys, I need you here. I think you'll be absolutely beautiful tomorrow. I think you will blow the place away. Oh, yeah. Coming in hot. All right. Adam, speak. Go ahead. Oh. You still got Adam? <laughs> Guys, I'm trying to speak here. As every, hey, as every guy will agree, I think every girl will agree that Adam will probably look pretty normal tomorrow. But, hey, about as average as it gets, you know? Hey, but honestly, I truly love both y'all so much. Y'all, y'all mean the absolute world to me. I, I, I have nothing but a dog and a beat up old house. <laughs> but hey, but y'all, he's got a dog. But hey, but seriously, you built that house. <laughs> hey guys, guys, I'm trying to speak here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but hey, but truly, y'all, y'all mean the absolute world to me. Y'all really do. I, Adam has been there at every point in my life. He has made me the man I am, and I, I couldn't have done it without him. I really, I, I mean to it. And Kristen, Adam is, he every once in a while he gets like really untamable. He like freaks out and like. Oh my god. <laughs> You're <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. He really is. He's got. 
Adam has it under control. I'm the guy that does this. <laughs> Tru truly, honestly, I, I, uh, I'm so happy for the both of y'all. Yeah. Thank you. I'm truly happy for the both of y'all, and I couldn't wish y'all a happier marriage. And I know.